We are on fire watch with the largest wildfire this year burning in Butte and Tehama counties. One week ago, people in Cohasset had just a few minutes to get to safety as that park fire spread. Kayla Moeller shows us how one family nearly lost their farm. We were just about to start loading horses and I got a text message from a firefighter friend that said, get out of there now. The horses will be fine in the dirt paddock. You need to leave. I unfortunately lost everything in the camp fire six years ago. Jaya May and her children rebuilt their lives in Cohasset after being displaced in 2018 for two years after the campfire. Now they have more rebuilding to do after their home was damaged in the park fire. I'm a little bit shell shocked still. My six year old actually said last night, he said, I just want things to go back to normal. And when I asked him what normal was, he said, not scary. Jaya May's son helped round up the animals and prepare go bags on their small farm with the help of 10 year old neighbor and friend Xander. We throw all the hay down. So then when the fire comes, they're not going to be starving. The fire came quickly. They were only able to take six out of the nine horses. When we were ready to go down, <laughs> you could see the big giant smoke. Xander's house was also damaged in the fire, but is still standing. Sad that the land is, is burned because I loved it when it was nature because there's lots of beautiful things. And whenever I went to the outside, it was full of life. PG&E is in Cohasset repairing downed power lines and assessing damage, but Xander is confident the community of Cohasset will be okay. We can do some minor repairs and we'll be back. Love his optimism. Now PG&E says because power lines serving Cohasset from Chico were damaged by the fire, they've restored power to much of the Cohasset community by using generators. Well, new developments from Hawaii, where a lawsuit settlement could be reached over the deadly wildfire.